Hi guys, happy day. Happy day today. Not really. I've honestly never been more disappointed in my life to be a part of a fan base as I am right now after reading about everything that's been going on during the Death Grips tour. This is the first tour the Death Grips has gone on in like over four years. They haven't even released music since I think probably even longer than that, like 2018. So again, it's still been like probably almost five years at this point that they've even released any new music. The fact that they're going on this tour is like a huge deal insane. And I was really like heartbroken that I couldn't go to any of these shows. But after reading about all of the stuff that's going on, the stuff that the crowds at their shows are doing, I'm like, this is a shame. I shouldn't feel like I dodged a bullet by not going to see like my favorite band of all time perform live. So let's just dive right into it, guys. Something happened recently that made me want to talk about this. There's other stuff that's been going on at the Death Grip shows, but what made me want to talk about this is this tweet I saw the other day. Death Grips rightfully walked off stage tonight because children can't keep themselves from throwing water and glow sticks at acts they paid for. And a few people on Reddit went like a little bit more in depth as to like what specifically happened. This person said some one kept throwing glow sticks and one hit ride and he threw the mic down in anger and then it happened again and then all three of them quit in the middle of black paint there's also a video that kind of summarizes what happened and i'll play that now tonight okay so people threw glow sticks at him he walked off stage clearly not happy about it then he walks back on stage. You would think that after the first time he walked off stage that people would be like, oh, maybe he doesn't like when we throw things at him. Maybe artists in general don't like when we like throw things at them and hit them with things, even if it's something as soft as a glow stick. Maybe they think it's annoying. Like maybe they don't like that. So maybe this time he's giving us another chance. How about we don't throw anything this time? Hey, that's funny. The fact that he literally walked off stage the first time, people continue to throw stuff at him. Like even one person throwing something at him. Dude, stop like you shouldn't do that like what's the fun in that like i just don't understand how you as an audience member gain anything from throwing things at the artist who thinks that's a good idea like i don't understand who started this he literally gets back on stage gives the audience a second chance they continue to throw things the whole band walks off same thing happened i think it was rolling loud during kid cuddy's set do you remember like people just kept throwing stuff at him and he was like, throw one more thing and I'm walking off stage. Someone immediately throws something. And then he's like, okay, well, I'm walking off the stage. Like, I just don't get what these people like get out of doing this. No one thinks it's funny. No one thinks it's cute. Maybe the only people that think it's funny are the people who are doing it. But literally everyone else hates those people. Like everyone else thinks that it's annoying and looks down on you as an audience member, including the artists that you love so much that you would pay to see them. Like, why are we throwing stuff at people? But aside from what happened at that one specific show, I saw a tweet that quote tweeted the original tweet I saw, and then it added more context as like what's been happening on this tour in general. And this is what that tweet says. This tour has been a disaster for Death Grips, not because the band pulled any shenanigans. Their fan base is too chronically online to be normal in public. People pissing in the pit, dressing up as little kids with propeller hats. This is Rick and Morty fan base level of cringe. Okay, I personally, this is just me, I wouldn't necessarily put people pissing in the pits and wearing propeller hats on, like, the same plane of, like, annoying. The propeller hat thing, like, yeah, it's cringe, I guess. It kind of is, like, referring to this meme. I assume that, like, people are wearing the propeller hats because of this one meme that, like, circled around where it's like this guy who's like crying and he's like no you new fans are the worst stop having fun at death grip shows and expressing yourselves in funny and creative ways while enjoying the music i'm terrified of change and a cultural shift in the fan base makes me very upset and then it's this guy with a propeller hat and a lollipop which is how people are coming dressed up to these shows sometimes and they're like well a lot of the time it seems and he's like i love death grips what a wonderful and unique music group that we can all enjoy in our own way this whirly pop is delicious i don't know i'm like dude come on like, the propeller hats, it's cringe. I think that people are very disproportionately upset about the propeller hats. 
like people are really focusing on that at least from what i've seen in like the subreddit and like twitter and stuff it's like yeah the propeller hat stuff it's cringe but like dude people are pissing in the pit kicking people in the head and breaking people's necks and like assaulting women at these shows like a lot i don't think the propeller hat is like the the problem like i don't think we should be focusing on that as like now this like people were pissing on the pits and they're wearing wearing propeller hats like not that i'm saying that the person who posted that tweet is like trying to say that but i think in general at least from what i've seen on the internet like that is kind of like what people are focusing their like disdain on i'm like dude like the propeller hat stuff kind of harmless in my opinion as long as like the disrespect from those audience members isn't like coming from them at like during the show like who cares if they're wearing a propeller hat to the death grip show like people enjoy music in their own ways if someone wants to dress up funny to a show like people wear costumes to shows all the time people wear funny stuff to shows all the time as long as you're not trying to like upstage the performer and being an annoying audience member who's like craving attention playing subway surfers during the show like swiping on tinder during the show like throwing stuff at people then who cares if you're wearing a propeller hat i literally don't care it's so not a big deal compared to all the other stuff and people keep saying that like oh well death grips audience is full of these chronically online like meme lords like these incel men um obviously this is gonna happen at their shows but guys death grips has always had like this off kilter sort of audience this like very online audience this isn't necessarily a new shift in demographic that's coming to their shows you know like maybe aside from just post covid concert goers and a lot of i feel like gen z is the problem of it but there's older people at these shows who are doing like way more heinous things to people than just wearing propeller hats there are plenty of posts on reddit that i'm reading of people who are not gen z who are older who are literally like assaulting people it's it's disgusting like you can't just blame this on gen z this is just like who's who's to blame like the human race i guess i don't know it's just disgusting but anyway what i was saying like this fan base has always been made up of like chronically online people but from what i've read from people who have been to previous death grip shows the crowd at least knew how to behave for the most part and again like i have never been to a death grip show i didn't even really get into their music until around the time year the snitch came out so I'm speaking on this just from like reading up on, you know, the Death Grips lore and catching up on all of it over time. From what I've read, the, the crowds weren't like this. They weren't like this, like this bad back then. To this extent, it's like horrible. But again, like if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. It's just weird. It's, and it's not just a thing that's unique to Death Grips. It is a thing in general that I feel like has bled into how people go to live music now. And I think it's largely because people just, like, they want to be a part of the show in the sense that they want attention from people going to the show. Like, they want to feel like they did something funny and memorable at this show, when in reality, it's like they don't just know their place as an audience member. Stop playing Subway Surfers at the show. Stop playing Tinder at the shows. Like, the 3DS thing, it's like, it, it was funny. It was quirky. And it's like, maybe if you genuinely want that style of video to look back on, like, cool. But I feel like it's like people are just bringing stuff just to like be funny just to like see if they can be the funniest audience member and there's been people online you know saying like oh well are people acting like this at death grip shows because people see them as like a joke band as like a funny meme band a funny internet silly band who makes loud noise i think it's probably part of it i think there are definitely a group of death grips fans that like claim to like ironically like them or something you know what i mean and i'm not saying that like everyone has to be a super serious music fan they have to consume music in like a super serious like profound way if you want to go to the death grip show in a propeller hat like i literally don't care people go to 100 gex shows in like the wildest outfits and there's nothing really wrong with that in my opinion at least like if you're just going in a funny outfit like who cares if you're not being disruptive during the show then it doesn't it just doesn't matter this is happening during the show the stuff is bleeding into the performance is the problem and i don't think it's just because they're like an out there band and like that this is their fan base specifically like this is something that's happening at literally like every live show like this is happening to every genre of artist cardi b had water thrown at her granted apparently she did tell people to throw water at her and then someone threw water at her and then she threw their microphone at her whatever someone threw a phone at bb rexa 
Hit her in the face. She had to get stitches. Someone threw their mom's ashes at Pink. The Kid Cudi thing I mentioned earlier. Someone, like, kept throwing stuff at him. He said, throw one more thing at me and I'm getting off the stage. Someone threw one more thing and he got off the stage. Like, this is something that's literally happening a lot. I'm sure if I Googled it, I could find more examples that I've forgotten. But this is literally just stuff I'm thinking of off the top of my head that's happened recently and i've had to deal with people being disrespectful at my own shows which is like a very small amount of people like it's literally like i can think of two three examples of people out of everyone which is awesome overall my crowds have been very very respectful and so fun like they're very fun audience people to play to like i have so much fun every night playing but even at my shows which is baffling to me because i spend so much time talking about concert etiquette in my videos that anyone would be out of line right but like the fact that at my dallas show in the middle of song some random guy screamed you suck whether it's a joke or not like dude why like why would you scream that i see a photo of someone playing subway surfers like front front row and again like i am so so beyond thankful for everyone coming to my show and being so respectful and such incredible crowds like i truly walk off stage every single night and cherish every single show and how unique of an experience each one is but i'm just bringing those examples up for the sake of saying like even at my shows when i literally talk about concert etiquette like all the time (laughs) like all the time People are still coming to my show. It's like, screaming, you suck. Like, dude, come on. But anyway, I digress. Back to the Death Grips stuff. And other artists who are seeing this stuff happening to Death Grips are also speaking about their own experiences and stuff too. Like, the guy from Black Midi said this. Good on Death Grips. Had a whole tour of this shit a few months ago, and the feeling was consistently bleak, to be honest. Have fun, whatever. But to play to a paying audience who have no idea their lack of self-awareness, their fundamental disrespect, is conflicting and demoralizing motivating i just i don't know like i really don't understand how people who are so chronically online the type of people who are behaving like this at shows are people who see this stuff online all the time and think it's funny like if you're the type of person to spend this much time online think it's funny to do stuff like this then shouldn't you also be seeing the discourse of people saying that this is disrespectful and like so not self-aware and just awful and not the way to behave at a concert like if you are that chronically online how are you not seeing the other side of this argument how are you not seeing people saying like stop doing this i i don't know like maybe they're just seeing tiktoks on their for you page of people swiping on tinder at the leah kate show and think that's funny Ooh, someone's playing subway surfers during the opener because they're so bad that's funny and then i guess the comments of all these videos are probably just an echo chamber of people being like that's so funny so i don't know if you know who elvis depressly is i used to listen to elvis depressly in high school so when i saw this i was just like damn dude like really Really? How does any artist have this viewpoint on this? But anyway, Elvis Depressly quote tweeted the black mini guy and responded to him and said this. If you can't keep an audience engaged, it's never the audience's fault. Be interesting. Going up there and playing instruments doesn't cut it anymore. Put on a performance. Make art. Great art is undeniable. Tired of millennial whining. It's not an app's fault we let art get mid. I wanted to bring this up because I do think in a way it is an interesting point and it is something that should be talked about because yeah, it is the artist's responsibility to put on a good show. If you're a bad performer, then the audience doesn't have to pay attention to you. I completely agree. Like you don't, if you don't like the show, leave, go to the bar, get a drink, I don't know, go do something else. But just because a concert performer, whatever, an opener, whatever, whoever it is performing up there on stage, just because you don't like their performance doesn't make you entitled to disrespect them. It doesn't give you the right to throw things at people. It doesn't give you the right to yell things at people. It doesn't give you the right to hold your phone up so that the people behind you can see you playing subway surfers or swiping on Tinder. It doesn't give you the right as the audience member to like try to upstage the person on stage just because you paid for a ticket to go see them. Do something else, but don't disrupt the show for everyone else there, because some people might be enjoying it. And this instance in particular, I feel like, at least to me, is, like, different than it happening to, like, Cardi B or, like, Baby Rexa, or, like, artists that are definitely going to tour again, or at least at some point. Like, But it happening to Death Grips is a totally different story, because, like, 
the fact that they're touring again, like so many people, myself included, thought that they were never gonna tour again, never gonna even release music again. The fact that they announced this tour and are potentially working on new music, whatever, is like a dream come true. I was supposed to see Death Grips live in LA when they went in like May of this year, but I had to miss it because I went on tour instead. Like, I'm not kidding. I seriously was considering just saying no to going on tour so that I wouldn't miss the Death Grip show. Like, I was willing to give that up if that meant that I could still see Death Grips live. That's not what I ended up doing, obviously, but, like, their music has resonated with me in a way that, like, no other band ever has. Like, I've genuinely never been so, like, inspired and seen music in, like, such a life-changingly different way than I have, like, when I started listening to Death Grips. I feel like it's completely just, like, changed the way I look at music. And... I've never, like, loved a band so much as I have Death Grips, like, genuinely. The fact that all of this crap is happening and the fact that, like, they're, at this point, there's a really good chance that they'll probably just, like, never, ever tour again because of losers who are going to their shows and making it just, like, a total madhouse, just making it an awful experience for other audience members and for the band so much so that they literally are walking off stage early because people are being disrespectful to them dude they never go on tour like they never do this now they're doing this and like you're gonna treat them like this like great now they're probably never gonna go again and so many people who missed the opportunity to go see them are really never gonna get to see them like who knows if they would have went on tour either way but still it's like come on really but at the same time, you know, unfortunately it sucks that I even have to look at it like this like I never thought that I would feel like I dodged a bullet by not going to see their show. But that's kind of how I feel now after reading on the Reddit threads and everything, like stuff that's been going on at these shows. The amount of stuff I'm seeing of women saying that they're getting like assaulted and harassed and like groped at these shows is so terrifying. I think seeing one post about this is one too many, but like the um, the amount I'm seeing of these is so alarming. It is like a lot. And it's truly disgusting. And I'm not sure how or if Death Grips has addressed this in the past. I don't know if this is like a new problem at their shows. And I doubt they have time to really browse their subreddit, you know, while they're literally on tour. But I don't know. I guess I can give them the benefit of the doubt and just maybe like, who knows? Maybe they don't know how bad it is, like how much this is happening at their shows. But like if one of the members of like happens to see this video, like you gotta address this at your shows. Like this is seriously so disgusting. Like it is disgusting. Also people just being way too rough in these pits in general. Like, like not only people peeing in the pit, but literally I saw this post on Reddit of this guy who has this horrible gash like in his head like where his eyebrow is like a massive gash like it looks bad like the fact that someone is kicking him in the head that hard in a pit where you have to go get stitches after is like pretty wrong I feel like and the fact that like a girl's neck was literally broken someone broke some girl's neck at this show too I don't know which show but like a show on this tour and she had to go get that fixed I just am like how is this justifiable? Oh, you just haven't been to a metal show before. Oh, that's just what the pit's like. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> like, no, no. This is not like normal behavior. This is not like, oh, this is just what the pit's like. Like, no, dude, people shouldn't walk out of the pit at a show with like life altering injuries. Like, I just don't understand how that's justifiable. And if that is something that is normal, which I don't think it is, but if it is, then, like, we need to fix it. Like, fix it. Maybe, yeah, like, obviously you'll come out of it with, like, bruises or something. Maybe you'll get kicked in the head. Sure. People are going into these death grips pit pits and, like, beating the shit out of people. Like, that's not normal. Like, this isn't normal. You can't do that. I don't think it's, like, the band's fault that this stuff is happening, obviously. I think that, like, the audience members should just know how to behave. But I really do hope if the band sees this, that they do figure out a way to address it, whether online, at the shows, and condemn people who are assaulting women and, like, 
beating people up. If they do know about this stuff and are choosing not to say anything, I think that's disgusting. I, I really think that's horrible. Um, but we just don't know. We don't know when it comes to the band. Yeah, I just want to talk about this. Um, and if you're planning to go to a Death Grip show on this like leg of their tour, can you please like just be normal? Like wear the propeller hat. I literally don't care. I don't care about the propeller hat. I think it is so nothing compared to all the other heinous things that are happening in the crowds of these death grip shows. Dude, no one's going to tour anymore if people just keep acting like this at shows. Like, no, there will be no live music in, like, five years if this continues to happen at the, like, rate it's going. People will straight up not tour anymore. It is so not worth it to go through all that exhaustion, all that planning, all of that work just for people to blatantly disrespect you at your show because they paid to be there so they can do what they want. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like. I'm gonna be home from tour in like less than a week. Like at this point, by the time this comes out, a couple days. So pretty soon I'll be going back to like at least two or three, a week. definitely three a week, three a week videos. But yeah, and if you've come to a show, genuinely thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Like I really have enjoyed this tour way way more than I could have ever anticipated like it's truly changed my perspective on touring and it is all thanks to you guys like you've really been such incredible crowds and the like very 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 small amount of like weirdos that come to these shows like just doesn't really matter that much to me because there are so many incredible people that are coming to these shows and making it such a fun time and I feel very blessed to have such an awesome fan base. So thank you so much for coming to these shows and uh, thanks for watching the video. And just, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.